Well, hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Rider Ramblings. Today, as the weather is foul again, and uh, we're expecting thunderstorms later, uh, quite warm, 28 degrees, I thought I would do another unboxing and this time it's a vacuum brake bleeder. I got this off Amazon, I'll put a link to the English Amazon below and it cost somewhere well it depends which one you buy because it's branded uh, it, it's manufactured by one company and then branded by another n number of companies it's between about 13 and 16 pounds there or thereabouts so not an expensive piece of kit mine uh, came from a company in France but yours of course will come from a company wherever you're based England or America or wherever okay so let's have a look it's um, about 10 inches by 8 inches which in new money is about 250 by 200 approximately and it's made of polythene I think it's quite a light thing it is actually very light but quite sturdy you can't really push it they've put reinforcements in the right place so the box has been well designed there's a carrying handle there's a little place to put a lock and there's two tabs to actually hold the lid closed I'm not sure that these are going to last a very long time but we will see right opening the box I shall turn it round so it's easier to see we have the user manual it says brake bleeding kit but it will actually do a lot more if you do, I will actually show this better somewhere but that's a list of the types of things that you can use this uh, kit for so it's not just for brake systems or hydraulic systems you could use it for other things uh, there's brief but concise instructions for brake bleeding for checking your map sensor and your exhaust your, your exhaust gas recirculation valve on that uh, the manual comes in English Italian Spanish more Spanish uh, German French more French and on the back is a list of items in the box in English okay so there are two versions of this kit this is the motorcycle version there is a, a car version now it does say the hoses are 24 inches they're actually 20 inches and I believe on the car version the hoses are slightly longer but you can use it for both right so what you actually have in the top you've got two uh, hoses which are one will fit on the uh, the bleed nipple and the other will connect to the vacuum pump so you have the two hoses you have two short hoses of which you only really need one but you if you only need a short hose between the the reservoir and the pump then you could use that um, and then you've got a number of different nozzles you've got a a tapered hose adapters you've got um, brake leader valve adapters three different sizes and then you've got <coughs> connectors if you need them as well on there okay on the other side you have a small reservoir it is graduated and I'll come back to that later there's a gasket on the reservoir uh, you have two lids you've got one lid for uh, actually bleeding the hydraulics one is marked to the pump and the other one actually has another hole on the inside which is for one of the short um, hoses you have a lid which seals the reservoir after you've finished you've got a, a suction thingy and I haven't found where that goes um, it'll obviously go somewhere but 
where I don't know unless there's a part missing that goes in there I don't know and then you've got the the brake bleeder itself and this came with two bubble wrap covers on it so I assume you need to look after the gauge itself so the brake bleeder you can see it in my hand let's move it a bit further away it's uh, it's not huge and basically all you do is pump and it will suck the air out right okay according to the instructions you need to put the kit together so you put one hose there so you put one hose on the end you put a hose on the inside you put the other hose on here you place it over the reservoir and the one it says to the pump you attach to the pump and then the other end this end you'd attach to the brake ni uh, nipple the bleed nipple right now what the instructions say is that you should pump it up to about 10 which is about there and then open the bleed nipple of course make sure that you've taken the the lid off um, your reservoir and open the bleed nipple and take out about two graduations approximately I don't know how well you can see the graduations I can feel them but take out about two graduations close the brake nipple top up the reservoir uh, rinse and repeat until such times as you've got clean brake fluid coming through or hydraulic fluid coming through so that's that um, I will be demonstrating its use uh, I've got to bleed the clutch and the brakes on my FJR so I shall be doing that over the next couple of days and I'll video that and that should come out in about 10 days or so I shall put links to uh, Amazon UK for this kit uh, in the description below if you'd like it as I say it's not expensive and even if it only lasts two or three goes it's probably a lot better for your knees and it just does make life a lot easier especially if you've got an ABS system as well it allows you to bleed through completely okay please like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.